ready for transmission. Hi and welcome. This is the fourth part of the sample player tutorial for the Waldorf Blofeld. In the first part we talked about sampling in general. In the second part I showed how to activate the sample function. In the third part we processed or pre-processed our samples to prepare it for the transmission and now of course we want to load our sample or sample sets into the Blofeld. Just as a reminder, what is a sample set? A sample set is what you can load into one oscillator of the Blofeld into one patch. So each patch can have two sample sets loaded for oscillator 1 and oscillator 2. Oscillator 3 cannot have a sample set, it's just a basic oscillator. If you want to have a sample set you have the decision if you want to have a single sample set or a multi sample set. This means you can have one key as the original key and the Blofeld has to process the pitch of all the keys from this one original sample. This um, causes a low quality but it saves memory space because you have just one audio file. If you want to have a better quality you have to load multiple audio files into your sample set so that the range which has to be processed from a, from a original key is just smaller than with just one original sample. This increases the quality but of course it needs more, much more memory space. So it's your decision if you want to have more samples with lower or more sample sets with a lower quality or um, less sample sets but with a better quality. I want to create five sample sets now. We're going to see different examples for a single sample set, multi sample set, with loops, without loops, um, experimental things and so on. So let's start. Okay. Um, I prepared my samples here. In this folder we have um, the car noises which I mentioned before. We have the single loop with the starting car which I prepared in the last video. We have different pitched engine noises from this car. We have a single sample with the car keys and I also uh, prepared some Mellotron samples to show you a normal sample set. Okay let's start with Spectre. Spectre is the software which you can load from the Waldorf website. It's free and it's necessary to create sample sets to um, save them on your computer and also to load the sample sets into your Blofeld. If you want to start with a sample set you simply click on new and you can name the sample set. For instance car single loop. Okay. And now you can drag and drop the sample into the list of samples. It's a good practice if you have pitched samples that you name the audio files like the key, which is the original key for the sample, so that you can easily choose and place um, the sample to this key. And Spectre has an auto um, pitch detection, which works more or less, but you can use it as a base to, um, to figure out um, which to which key your sample um, is corresponding. Sometimes it's difficult to figure out which pitch um, your sample does have because especially when you have very noisy samples they don't really have a pitch but you can try to find um, a dominating frequency. You can also use Audacity and the analyzing function in Audacity to see the um, spectrum and to figure out where the peaks of this spectrum are. 
and then you can use this frequency as your um, basic frequency for this patch and then you can say okay it's a noisy sample but it is more or less corresponding to C7 or B flat 5 or something like that okay and this sample is corresponding to C6 when you press one of the keys you can see what the result will be in the Blofeld. In this case we have just one sample for the whole sample set and the um, range will be the complete range of keys so um, that um, the quality will be low but uh, the memory space you need for this uh, sample set is as low as possible. In Spectre you have also more possibilities than that so you can um, normalize your sample or the whole program or sample set you can change the level and you can also um, create fixed pitch sample sets this means that every key has the same pitch of course okay so this was the first sample set now we want to create a second sample set again we can click on new and name the sample set let's say car pitched okay and again we can load in all the samples we have here in our folder into the sample set spectre will automatically route the keys to um, or the samples to the keys of the frequency of course i think um, Spectre also has a look on the file names as, as an orientation and then Spectre will create also the ranges for each key. Okay, so let's, let's have a look on the results. If you have a noisy source like a car engine you shouldn't expect too good results but I think it's it's nice to try out different things just to play around I think this is what sampling should be extending the possibilities you have finding complete new things which um, would surprise everyone so in this case I think the automatic assignment of um, Spectre is good enough so let's go on with the third uh, sample set which is car noises and in this case we don't have pitches but just a lot of different samples so what spectre does here is to spread the samples all over the the whole range of keys but this is not exactly what I wanted because um, we have 18 samples and I want to have the samples on um, or I want to have one sample per key so that I have to reroute all the samples which I loaded in and correct the results of uh, Spectre. Okay, so now I corrected what um, Spectre did and we have one sample per key for two octaves. Uh, 
Let's go on with the next sample set, which will be the key sound. So this is this single sample. Let's say this is C3. Or let's say C5. Okay, and the last sample set will be a typical um, sample set you would create. I have some Mellotron samples here, so I name the sample set Mellotron. And I throw in the five samples I have C2, F2, C3, F3, and C4. And now we can transmit all these samples into our Blofeld. For doing this, you have to go into your configurations, make sure that the Blofeld is not activated in the uh, media inputs, and that the Blofeld is active or chosen as the MIDI output for the software. And now you can store your sample sets when you click on save or export. You can also save the MIDI file to transmit it with a different software or you can click directly on transmit. As you can see here the transmission for just these few samples which are about 5 megabytes or, or 7 in total will take about 5 minutes, so you can easily calculate um, the transmission time for um, the full range of 60 megabytes, so it's possible that you have to wait um, 30 minutes or 60 minutes, so it can take a very long time to, to transmit all these samples into your Blofeld. Be aware of that. When we click on OK, you can see the transmission progress and the blowfield will show you the transmission screen until the blowfield is finished with loading samples. Okay, so that's it. You have your own samples in your blowfield.